Here I'm going to go over some of the basics of the folder view on the Picture Porter Advanced. The folder view is where you will be able to uh, navigate through all of the folders and photos that you have on your Picture Porter Advanced or on any connected storage device. So to get started, I'm going to go ahead and select the memory device that I'm going to use, which is going to be the hard drive in this case. I'm going to press enter and that'll get me into the folder view screen. You'll see here these are the folders that are on the hard drive uh, starting with albums, backup, export, music, recording. I'm going to select album, so I'm going to press enter again, uh, navigate into that folder. In any of these views, uh, what I can do is I can press my plus and minus button to change from the list view to uh, thumbnail views of different sizes. Uh, in this case, I'm going to use list view first so that I can see the longer file names. I'm going to go ahead and select uh, the photo that I, the set of photos that I want to see. Uh, and in this case, I'm going to use my San Francisco trip from 2006. I'm going to press enter here and it's going to navigate me into uh, the list view where I can actually see the photos. Um, here we have a photo of Sathergate. Uh, you'll see the file names are here with file information all listed on the side here. And again, this is called list view. Over here in this window, we have the basic EXIF information for the photo that, uh, that has the thumbnail displayed here. Uh, if I want a more uh, pictorial view of this set of photos, I can press plus and it'll show me small thumbnails. I can press plus again, show me bigger thumbnails. And finally, um, the largest thumbnails is a 3 by 2 grid. Uh, when I am on the screen, um, as I'm viewing the thumbnails, I can press the menu button and it'll show me the menu functions that I have available. I can play slideshow. Um, I can go into select mode uh, where I can select multiple items. Uh, I can sort um, through different orders alphabetically by file size or by date. I can also have uh, access to file management options that include uh, making a new folder, renaming this photo, I can also rename folders. Um, if I do copy or cut, I it can eventually paste uh, what I've copied and cut. Uh, I can do export, which will uh, take my photo or selection of photos and copy those originals to a target destination. And the target destination for the export can be um, the same location on the, on the hard drive. It can be the internal SD card or it can be any connected memory device, which would be an SD card, a compact flash card, or any type of USB storage device that's connected. Or I can delete. And again, remember, um, any of these functions will work both on uh, individual photos or if I go into selection mode, which I just did, or it can work on uh, a selection of photos. You'll see in this case, I've selected four photos. And if I like, I can press menu and I can perform my file management tasks on uh, the four photos that I've selected. So for instance, what I can do in this case is I can export this. Um, I'm going to export my selection and I'm going to put it to the internal SD card. Let it go through the copy. Now that that's done, what, what's happened is uh, the four photos that I've uh, s exported here are on the internal SD card. Now if I uh, press escape, I'll exit the selection mode. Here what I can do is uh, view the photo. When I'm viewing the photo on the full screen, and this is different from the slideshow, um, I press menu again and I have another set of options. Um, this option, play photo memo. Photo memo is a feature that we have um, that will allow you to record audio memos to be paired with certain photos. So in this case, uh, you see this photo here, I can record a uh, memo that might say something like, uh, here's the newly renovated or newly renovated at that time uh, UC Berkeley Main Library. And so if I had that as a photo memo, um, I can play photo memo and that recording or that memo recording will play back to introduce the photo. Uh, that will also work with your slideshow so that you can create a slideshow uh, with introductions of each photos as they come up. Uh, the IPTC information, view IPTC, uh, that would be useful uh, for journalists or stock photographers uh, or anybody else that's using the IPTC metadata information that's embedded in the photos. Um, I can display the EXIF or histogram like this. Um, the EXIF information is up here. The histogram of the photo is down here. Um, I can also take that off. Let's see. 
Um, if I'm going through a lot of photos, I can display the counter in the file name to help me keep track of where I am and what I'm looking at. And again, I can take that off. Um, IPTC comments is, is also interesting. Uh, what this is, is um, they have some photo sharing sites where you can type in uh, little uh, text messages uh, that will be paired with the photo. Well, if we did that, what we could do is uh, go in here, select IPTC comment show, and it'll show the text messages that you type in. And this will work with um, most popular photo sharing sites. So if you have this displayed, um, little text memos of that describe the photo will be played with the photos. So let's see, let's round this out. Uh, the photo viewing mode will allow you to select different viewing if you wanted to keep the aspect ratios or fill the screen uh, and distort the photo. Uh, file management is the same set of file management options that we looked at before. And add to playlist. Um, what you can do is you can add individual photos or uh, sets of photos or selections of photos to a playlist. And what that does is it allows you to make a playlist that is a compilation of photos from different folder locations on your uh, Picture Porter Advanced hard drive. So if you want to make certain collections with certain themes, you can do that. And what's nice is with the playlist function, uh, you can also use export, which will allow you to export the playlist with all the original photos of that playlist to um, external memory devices. So in a nutshell, um, that's the folder view, and those are the main uh, navigation points of how you would use the folder view. I hope this is helpful for you to get an understanding of how you might use the Picture Porter Advanced in your own photography.